Hey guys, it's Jonathan Clark, and if you've been following me at Jonathan Clark 2005 on my Twitter over Christmas, you now know that I'm the proud owner of a new PlayStation 4 one terabyte console, and to coincide with that, I have 10 new video games from my huge video game collection, which spans from PlayStation 1 from 1998 up to PlayStation 3 until I received the PlayStation 4 this year for Christmas. So I thought I would make a video to show you the newest video games to my collection, which I just recently added and believe me before I show you uh, this video game collection just briefly this is an amazing collection to start off a PS4 video game collection with. Uh, I'm going to start off with Batman Arkham Knight. This is the latest of the Batman Arkham series. I originally had all of the original Batman Arkham video games from Arkham Asylum to Arkham City to Arkham Origins uh, back on PlayStation 3, so I'm really excited to have this as part of my video game collection on the PS4. Arkham Knight picks up where Arkham Origins left us. That was the last one released on the PlayStation 3. There has not been a Batman title with the exception of Injustice 2, which is the sequel to Injustice Gods Among Us. Hopefully I'm going to be picking up that one, but this is the the uh, latest Batman title to have been released on the PlayStation 4. I have not played it yet, but I'm really excited to have a chance to play it over the next couple of days. I'll probably be doing a review of this video game on my YouTube channel for you when I get the time to do so. Uh, moving right along here. In my PlayStation 4 video game collection, I have the Family Fun Pack. This includes uh, the popular board games, which have been commuter animated, including Monopoly, which is one of the featured titles on this video game. Battleship and Scrabble, those are Hasbro games. Uh, this uh, can play up to as many players as you want, uh, with several controllers, obviously. Uh, but it's a great way to have a family board game night virtually on the PlayStation 4. This is a game that they usually give away on video game show on uh, game shows like The Price is Right, excuse me, and other shows uh, that you see on daytime television on CBS. Uh, it usually comes as part of a uh, game package they throw together, but I'm really excited to have this one because I'm a huge fan of Monopoly, and as you've heard me say many times on my YouTube channel, I have the uh, Disney Monopoly board game along with different other versions of Monopoly over the years. That's one of my favorite games, so to know that that's included as part of the Family Fun Pack, I'm really excited about that. So I'm going to be playing this one when I have the chance to do so, and probably do a review of that one for you along with every other video game I have as a part of this collection. Also in my collection, I have Sonic Forces. This is the latest Sonic video game uh, that's been released on the PlayStation 4. Of course, probably you're familiar with games like Sonic uh, Sonic uh, Universe and Sonic, uh, what's the other one? Sonic Genesis. Uh, so this is the latest one, of the Sonic video game series. Something really cool that I saw uh, over Christmas was the Sega Mini that had been released by Nintendo, of course, after they purchased the license from uh, Sega Genesis. They actually have these mini consoles now, which include Sega Genesis, PlayStation, trying to compete with Nintendo, and Sega Genesis, which have the original Sonic's games, even including Sonic and & Knuckles and Sonic Pinball. But this is the latest computer animated, uh, updated animated Sonic video game, which I have not played yet, which I'm really excited to do so. I'm a huge fan of Sonic the Hedgehog. And I'm really proud to have this as part of my video game collection, picking up where all the original Sonic games from the Sonic team as part of the Sega Corporation released. Of course, Sonic has been uh, the feature of uh, Sega Genesis, the, the uh, iconic character for years. And to know that he has a new title on the PS4, keeping up the Sonic tradition, uh, is really exciting to me. Uh, begin the uprising with Sonic uh, Forces featuring all the popular Sonic characters. Now, this game I am really thrilled to have. It's the Marvel Spider-Man video game produced by Disney and Marvel. Uh, this game was really hard to find over the holiday season because uh, it was sold out virtually everywhere. At Walmart the other day, I was in there, and literally 15 to 20 people came behind me uh, looking for the same video game. Now, fortunately enough, I was able to purchase the uh, or get the Spider-Man 1 terabyte console, which included a copy of this video game. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't be talking to you about this game. Uh, the cool thing about this game was they actually used drones to scan the city of New York to make the game even more lifelike. It features all the popular Spider-Man villains and cast, and it's the most detailed and lifelike Spider-Man game that I have ever played in my life. I'm currently playing the campaign mode of that game right now, and I'm really excited how to be doing that for you on my YouTube channel. I'll have a review of that one in due time, but I'm thrilled to have that as part of my PS4 video game uh, collection. 
Moving right along, we have Back to the Future based off the Back to the Future movies. Of course, there were three Back to the Future video games. I have not played this one yet. I've heard so many great reviews about this video game. I don't expect it to be the most exciting video game of the collection that I have on the PS4, but I will be playing it when I do have the time and I get through games like Batman and Spider-Man preferably. Probably Batman or Spider-Man are the games that I'm going to probably be enjoying the most, but it's always fun to have games like that included as part of your collection. And knowing that Disney now is a driving force behind Star Wars, I'm really excited to have a Star Wars Battlefront as part of my collection on the PS4 because uh, Star Wars games are funner than what people ever give them credit for. Uh, it features the Disney updated version of the Star Wars cast, and uh, there are hours of gameplay from what I've been hearing uh, included in this video game. So it could go down in history as being one of the most fun and exciting Star Wars video games of the series to play. I actually got a Star Wars pop figure as part of my uh, Christmas presents this year as well, which I don't have here to show you right now. WWE 2K19. It's the latest video game from 2K Sports as part of the WWE 2K series. It's the most lifelike WWE video game uh, of the series, and it's been getting great reviews. I have played this game, the My Career Mode. Is fantastic, and uh, this is the first WWE video game. I kind of jumped over WWE 2K18 because I didn't have uh, the PlayStation 4 up to that point in time. But this is the most lifelike WWE video game. It features AJ Styles on the cover. It also features the opportunity to play the Million Dollar Challenge, which I don't think is actually active anymore on the game. But the My Career mode and the Showcase mode featuring the return of Daniel Bryan is amazing, and I would recommend that you definitely uh, play this game if you ever are given the opportunity to do so. Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, of course, features all the concepts of the Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy movies. Uh, Stan Lee will be proud of me because I have so many Marvel video games as part of this collection of 10 video games that I actually have on the PlayStation 4. Man, people who know me are going to have so much fun playing my PS4. Uh, it features all the Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, Rocket Raccoon, and so on, and it, uh, of course, follows along the story of the two Marvel uh, Guardian of the Galaxy movies, Guardians of the Galaxy and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Really excited to be playing this one. We're almost to the end of the collection. This one I was looking for for a very long time. It was actually on sale. It's um, Ratchet & Clank based off the Ratchet & Clank movie. Uh, it's kind of a generic concept, but it's a game that's always been fun. It's been a popular cho choice of everyone who's been a fan of games like uh, the Crash Bandicoot series and the Sonic the Hedgehog series. Ratchet & Clank picks right up where the original Ratchet & Clank video games left us. And, of course, this is the first Ratchet & Clank video game, actually, that we've seen in years. So uh, this should be a lot of fun. I actually haven't even got it out of the packaging yet. I'm going to be getting around to doing that very soon. And you can expect my thoughts on video games like Ratchet & Clank in due time. But this is the game that follows along with the movie. And really excited to have this one. This one here, this is the last one of the ten video games that I have, unfortunately. Unfortunately, sadly, uh, before I had to get out of here, this is the Tomb Raider video game, the latest Tomb Raider video game of the series from any PlayStation console or video game console in general, following on the life of Laura Croft. Uh, this video game actually is getting great reviews, and uh, it's published by Square Enix, which is an added bonus, of course, the creators of Final Fantasy and uh, Dragon Warrior from back in the day. So, and the Kingdom Hearts series, which I can't forget to mention. So, knowing that this story picks up where Laura Croft left us uh, a couple of years ago, and knowing this is the first Tomb Raider video game literally in years, really excited to be playing this, following in the footsteps of games like Resident Evil, which kind of fall into the same category. Really excited to be playing this. I want to thank you guys for watching this video where I showed you my PlayStation 4 video game collection, which will obviously expand. I'm going to be hoping to pick up a copy of Red Dead Redemption 2, which is getting great reviews and being revered as the greatest PlayStation 4 video game of all time. And Lego Disney Pixar's The Incredibles, based off the two Incredibles movies. Really excited to be picking up copies of those and playing all the games that I thank everyone for giving me for Christmas this year. It's a huge PlayStation 4 video game collection. I know what you're thinking. I'm going to be uploading this video on my YouTube channel, so make sure you hit that subscribe button, smash it, let me know what you think.